Where you got, man? Like, look, we're all just like husky white dudes with <laughs> <laughs> big frame glasses and Hawaiian shirts. Uh, there's definitely another dude that I'm like picturing, but I can't quite like think about. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of guys that look like you guys. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of guys, yeah, exactly. Do you know this guy on the left? That's Legion. Uh, versus Ghost Chunks, which is a disgusting name. <laughs> Uh, this should, I mean, you know, this is Fox versus Jigglypuff. Nice. Great matchup. I think, you know, both these players are great. I played Legion. Oh. Uh, yeah, but Puff is gross. Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm one of the, I'm, I'm a hater. I can't. Yeah. I can't hide it. But like you said, she's in the game, man. Oh, uh, fucking right. <laughs> we had to live with her. She's like our, like putrid aunt, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you don't want to hang out with at Thanksgiving, but you got it anyway, because your mom's going to be like, fuck, come on. Come on. Come on. It's do it family. For me. Do it for me. She's here. We all have to yeah. deal with her. Yeah. She's Jigglypuff. <laughs> She'll be here. She ain't going anywhere. Is the Fox an old school player? He, uh, he was doing some good stuff in teams, I saw. Um, old school? I have no idea. He's, I mean, he's pretty good, though. He was in my pools. He 2 owed me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So him, him and Pig made it out of our pool. It's a tough pool, man. Yeah, that sounds tough. Ooh. But the back air move is a good move. Dude. G-nasty over there. G-nasty. What? What? I can't tell if you're just like coming words at me or Oh okay. So, just did yeah, what commentating is set between uh Legion and Ghost Chunks. Did you play Ghost Chunks? G Nasty. Doug Ganondorf. No, we didn't play Ghost Chunks. Oh we did play this guy. Yeah, he's yeah. Cool. he's good. Cool. Yeah, dude, that was a hard match. Ooh. Peach Puff is a good team too. Peach Puff is yeah, it's rough. <laughs> we didn't crack. The rest! Yeah, it's even. Hey, he got those two lasers in. Yeah, and now it's, <laughs> look at that, it's 30%. That's good punish. You see that little laser? That was beautiful. <laughs> that might make the difference, you know? Very aggro. The 68, is that, aggro. is that perfect up throw up air percent? Well, it's nice back air. He knew. Uh, I always like to see in these, uh, because, like, being the first round of bracket, we should be seeing like high seeds versus low seeds. Yeah. Um, and like he got arrested, he just SD'd. I think that he would be up a lot more right now. Um, and I'm interested to see sort of how he would adapt uh, come like the next game. Unless he, unless he gets arrested. He totally could, right? Commentator curse. Commentator. Ooh. Oh. oh Whoops. I'm sorry. <laughs> I changed the course of the game. Oh, I've done that too many times. This, this one time I was standing behind it, my friend and his teammate, and I was cheering for the other team, and then they, they lost a 2v1 in teams. Ugh. Yeah, my, uh, <sighs> earlier I was commenting PM, and I was talking to Phil before the match about how much he hates <laughs> Game & Watch. And, uh, and he was going random on every single match, and I was like, yo, watch this. Last one, I was like, watch this, it's gonna get game watch. <gasps> yo, nice yo, that's but like, that's like the opposite of a homie stock. They kill himself, you fucking taunt. <sighs> yeah, dude, this guy's out for blood. <laughs> He's out like for it. it. Look at those, look at the red boots. He's been stomping on yeah, his enemies. <laughs> he wants it, and it's Christmas time. No, but literally, like, I see it, like, this puff's always at 70, and the fox is always at, like, zero. The fox is just dying out of nowhere. This is crazy, I mean... It's, 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 it's been losers, staying relatively right? close. You know, is, um, these are no, everyone goes into winners in bracket, I believe. Oh, it says losers round one. Is this losers? It's not... Interesting. No need to talk. You you play your game. I hate I hate distracting people. Yeah. I always want them to like play their game, do their thing. Yeah. What was I was watching Dragon Ball Z and uh, 
It literally like like oh crap, what was it? There was a good example, but uh, they were like super saiyan and up, getting all extreme, and uh, Goku like told his son like, hey, yeah. don't don't get distracted. Only focus on the fight. Nothing should like even make you flinch or blink. Yeah, that's super. <laughs> but DBZ is intense. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Some of these times, I feel like Ooh. I feel like there's no need to be on the edge, but I think I think there's a lot of mental stuff that happens at the edge. Cause like he yeah. doesn't he doesn't need to not go in, but maybe he's trying to like recollect himself and figure out how he wants to go in a little bit better, um, just cause he's down. Dude, it's a tough environment to play melee in. I'll say that much. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of lot going yeah. I want to get like noise canceling headphones. Oh. You know? Oh fuck. Perfect, it's beautiful. Sometimes I think the commentator should be a little further away. <laughs> I've seen it at like bigger events, they'll have them like super far away, and I've also seen them just like a curtain away. Yeah. Oh, really almost gonna kill. Depends on the hard way. Perfect. All right, able to take game two. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> oh no! I worry. I he was doing fair. <laughs> <laughs> you can't jump out of one of the middle hits. But he knew. He knew when fair was gonna end. He jumped. Yeah, out. Thank thankfully. This whole like two two TV thing is so funny. It's it's sometimes funny. Uh, I think it's good because then you don't have to like sit next to them. No, I love it. Although, yeah, I mean, it's more even, dude. I'll be honest. Like, if I'm sitting next to you, I'm listening to hear if you're sma like mashing out of my grabs or not. Yo, the meta though, I uh, I try when they're on the edge. I try to listen to hear if they press R or L, and they roll up. Oh yeah. Um, you like try to hear that certain click. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, usually I'm wearing headphones though, so like I can only do that in friendlies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's cheating or not. <laughs> I, dude, I mean, Hungry Box does it. He'll sit behind you to look at your TI. <sighs> or he, I mean, he doesn't always. Every but. advantage he can get. I understand. It's a puff thing. It's like not really against the rules. Get bodied. I it's just puff. like against the spirit of the game. Oh, I'm also go. always happy to see like a comfortable fox, like able to hit those like shine turnaround wave dash backs. Yeah. Able to just move. Dude, I saw I saw this, this guy play a couple years ago, and he was way better now. He was he was bad back then. I don't know the, if he was fox. I don't know if he was bad like necessarily. I think we played me and my friend played him in PM doubles, and we and we whooped him. Mm -hmm. oh. But. So, so you remember what I said, the, the JMOOC games? Three stocks is a level above. And I was even saying, like, the first game, I was interested to see how he adapts. Uh, and I think this is what we're seeing. Yeah, I mean... I want to count this, this uh, Ghost Chunks guy out, necessarily, but... Yeah. Like, I mean, Puff is a, is a comeback kid. I think he does have to, like, change up a lot of stuff. He's still, he's still like, fighting with Fox. I think you really have to make him, like, yeah, overextend he's, yeah, he's going uh, in order to get a good punish. Hard. Oh, the Beautiful mangle. Beautiful mangle. Let's go. Yeah, that's all you need. Hold on to the ledge. Roll up. Just roll. Now get so, back so on that ledge. I'm pretty sure you can't.